Dave, I'm going to pass you the, the floor, or give you the floor, I guess, to talk about Dead Pigs. Yeah, so this is a kind of unexpected uh, drop where uh, Dead Pigs is the directorial debut from Kathy Yan. Kathy Yan, most people would know as the director of Birds of Prey, the uh, DCEU movie from early 2020, the uh, best one. Of course, because it uh, actually was quite m- better than Wonder Woman 1984, despite what we might have expected a year beforehand. Yep. Um, but yeah, this was Kathy Ann's first movie, and it was really notable because she got hired by Warner Brothers to make Birds of Prey after making just one movie, Dead Pigs, which played at Sundance way back in 2018. The thing is, no one got to see Dead Pigs. This had not gotten <laughs> U.S. distribution or any distribution outside of China since Sundance 2018. It played in China in January 2019, but either way, no one has had a chance to see this for three years unless she lived in China, where it got a, where it did get a release, the movie set in China. Um, and that is, I think, just a really fascinating thing, and uh, Kathy Ann's in a lot of press about this, about like her career, and I think this is actually an important movie for people to watch because this is much more instructive of the movies she will be making moving forward as opposed to Birds of Prey, which we know is of the greater, you know, Hollywood machine. But like the fact that she would be kind of this most stereotypical thing, right? Gobbled up after a hit indie movie made a superhero movie. You love that indie movie so much, yet you wouldn't actually put it out for her. Like no one, like no one seemed to want to put it out. Like it, it's just really weird. Um, and I think just kind of a symptom of where Hollywood is at, where it's like, ah, I don't know if we can, uh, we, we we can we can release this movie. Like it it, it kind of stinks. But either way, it's now out on a movie M U B I, which is the like art house streaming service. It's kind of on a smaller end. You can access uh, through Amazon if you wish. Um, they also have uh, Martin Eden, which was a notable um, indie flick from 2020 as well on there. Um, so yeah, you can access that there now on dead uh, on movie dead pigs finally available to the rest of the world three years later <laughs> like i remember when birds of prey came out i was like yeah dead pigs no one can see it yet would love to mm-hmm. see it hurts kind of good <laughs> and you know a year later here we are um and, you know it's, it feels weird to say like no spoilers about a movie from 2018 but like really no one has seen it still so i'm not gonna spoil anything but i i, I did like it and i think it's cool because it <clears throat> kind of like weaves all these storylines together, mm-hmm. connecting characters, some relate to each other, some encounter each other. Um, you know, these plots all kind of <clears throat> unravel and connect. And it's all centered around um, a fictional, I guess, retelling of the dead pigs incident in the Shanghai area in 2013, where like thousands of pigs, dead pigs were in the river and like people mm-hmm. like, what the hell's going on, you know? in the water is the water bad all that kind of stuff um but the movie you know having that as your backdrop in like modern day china and having all these storylines weave together as we go you know deep in the city more rural areas you kind of get all all the things you might want from like a kind of like a weaving movie like this um and i think it's really good um i think the most notable Asian actor would be Vivian Wu. She's in a lot of stuff uh, on the U.S. side. Zazie Beetz is in this in a small role. Hell yeah. Um, oh, also um, Mason uh, Lee is in this, notable as the son of Ang Lee. Mm. But uh, yeah, I, I would, you know, tough to really say much more, but I, I would definitely recommend. I think it looks awesome. It doesn't feel like, like a first feature film, you know. It, it's like really well done. And like I said, I think it's going to be instructive of, Kathy Ann's talent moving forward, so that's exciting. Um, and impressed for this, Kathy Ann did say that she's actually directing an episode of Succession season three. So Hell that's yeah. also cool. That that's fantastic. You know, I, I think it's funny hearing you describe this movie and then thinking about Birds of Prey and even something like Succession. I think that it makes a lot of sense that a movie like this would get her opportunities in, in a movie and a show like that because all three of those all three of these things seem to have multiple characters that have these stories that need to kind of be intertwined and pulled together. Like birds of prey kind of, you know, Harley Quinn being at the forefront of that, but like pulling in the the rest of the gang in some way. And then succession obviously has usually like three or four storylines as well. So 
Um, pretty cool to, to hear that. I can't wait to watch. I just didn't get to it this week, but I have my, my movie subscription or my, my free trial already <laughs> going. So uh, the clock is running on me for sure. <laughs> um, and I'm excited to talk about it. Maybe we'll we'll circle back at some point or, or check in maybe midtime this year. Yeah, I was thinking for list purposes, I guess it's a 2021 movie. No one got okay. to see it till now, right? So, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> Everything is so screwed up in COVID. It, it was funny because I was like, 20, 2018, uh, it was only uh, two years ago. Nope, going on three years. It's kind of crazy. People still really haven't seen this widely. 